In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use connector words when searching a database. Let's say you're writing a paper about medical problems in the performing arts, and you're specifically interested in carpal tunnel syndrome. You're using RILM as your database. RILM has citations for articles relating to music, so the keywords you decide to start with are carpal tunnel syndrome. So we'll type that into the search box at the top of the page and click search. And we get 35 results. But let's say you need more information. You decide to expand your topic to include cramps. So we can do a new search at the top of the page. We'll delete carpal tunnel syndrome and type in cramps. And click search. And now we have another 87 articles. But there's a faster way to find all of these results at once. Instead of doing multiple searches of individual keywords or phrases, we can combine them together with a connector word, in this case, or. So this time, let's search cramps or carpal tunnel syndrome. So we'll change this connector word from and to or and type in carpal tunnel syndrome in the second box and click search. And now we have all 122 articles from both of those searches combined into one. Or is great for expanding your search, and it's best used with related words like cramps and carpal tunnel syndrome. The other helpful connector word is and. And helps to narrow your search since the database will find only results that have both search terms. And is best for unrelated terms. For an example, let's say you wanted to narrow your topic to carpal tunnel syndrome and cramps just for string players. This time, we'll use the OR connector within one box. You can also put them in separate boxes, but I find it's easier to organize my searches this way. So we'll type cramps OR carpal tunnel syndrome. And then we'll change the connector word to AND. And in the second box, we'll type strings and click search. Now we've narrowed our search from 122 articles to just 16. So each of our results has the word strings and also cramps or carpal tunnel syndrome. You can keep adjusting your searches with more related or unrelated terms and connector words. So where we have strings, we could add or violin or viola. And since we used or, if we click search, that will expand our results to 20. There are many more possible search strings we could create for this topic. So remember, if you don't find what you need at first, just be creative with your search terms and keep trying. And remember, you can always ask a librarian for help.